Now, ease is easy. Ease is easy. To get into ease is always easy. It's sometimes easier than to get into bliss. So when you feel mediocre and you catch yourself, I don't feel quite as good or amazing as I want to feel because I want you to raise your standards without increasing your judgment. It's a tricky thing. When you increase your standards, like I want to feel amazing 80% of the time consciously during the day, that's quite a high standard for humans. And so when we set the standard that high, most people are inclined to when they then monitor and catch themselves, immediately judge themselves and hold themselves against that standard. That's not the same thing as being inspired to be as much of yourself as you can for 80% of the day. Don't judge yourself when you're feeling bad. Again, that's a negative interpretation of bad feelings. Bad feelings signify that you're doing really, really, really well. Does that make sense? If you weren't doing really, really well, what feels bad to you now, that actually used to be your baseline and you didn't even notice it. You were just like, yeah, someone asked you how you were doing. You were like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty good. The weather is shitty, but I'm, I'm all right. But now that actually doesn't feel exciting anymore. It doesn't feel like you're being fully yourself when you feel like you're in a mediocre state. So raise the bar. What you want is to feel amazing all the time, as much as you can, without judging yourself when you don't, with only having positive interpretations of when you don't. Because that's the quickest way to shoot back into alignment, to say, create this safe net around your positive state that as soon as you jump out of your alignment, the first thing that catches you is a positive interpretation of jumping out of alignment. So you build this trampoline of positive interpretations one circle out around the circle that represents being in full alignment. So as soon as you slip out of that first circle, the first safety net is not go helping you go down the drain by saying, I'm so bad, I'm so terrible, this means I am a victim, this means I am not good enough, this means this, this means that. But you generate a safety net right around that inner sphere of your total alignment. And it functions like an ambulance. So instantaneously, all the sirens go off. As soon as you jump out of alignment, you notice it. It feels bad. But the first interpretation you've programmed yourself with is, oh, jolly. <laughs> oh, jolly, I feel bad. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What an event. What a beautiful, beautiful circumstance this is. What an amazing event. I feel so delighted that I'm made to feel bad Thank you for showing me, higher self, that you're always present with me even when I'm not. Thank you for showing me that I'm unconditionally worthy of your presence because without your presence, I would simply not notice that I was out of alignment. But since you're always present to me, it's so clear to me whenever I jump out of the sphere, out of the center of that beam of that alignment that I wish to be in. 